Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Greetings, greetings. Welcome, Yin Yang Gang, my star family. Welcome back to the shadows. I'm so Pisces. I intercess on behalf of all elements earth, air, fire, water, space, sound, light, love. I embody all. I am space. I serve the universe as the universe serves me. Okay, today for me is Sunday, September 20th, 2020. However, all of my readings are timeless, so whenever y'all see this, you were just meant to see this. Spirit said, healing from the inside out. Okay, the sun is in Virgo, the moon is in Scorpio. We are currently in a waxing crescent phase at 17% illumination. Um, Sundays are ruled by the sun via the law of attraction, which is what we're studying here. These are daily messages just to keep you balanced through this bullshit. That's what the spirit said. Just to stay balanced through all this bullshit. Keep your mind on your star player. Okay, your MVP, you, your spirit. Listening to yourself. Healing from the inside out. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so remembering to script and journal daily. Pray and meditate, okay? Crystal armor, um, any type of jewelry, cross, anything that you wear to feel protected as well as your mask, you know, sanitation. Um, planners. I wanted to tell you guys I am so excited. So, you know, we've been setting the law of attraction here. So, I had to go ahead and order the law of attraction planner. I'm so excited, but I'm mad I can't write in it because I didn't get the special pen. You know, you microwave it and everything disappears. But I'm very excited to start this here with you all. So, we'll be doing that. And then, if you have depression, don't fight it. Don't be like, oh, no, I ain't depressed. You know, I seem bubbly and happy here on the channel. You know, I seem, everything's great. Everything ain't all great. That's why I say welcome back to the shadows. It gets real dark. But we know that even the ones from the light must step into the shadows in order to receive their sight. That the real source of light is surrounded by darkness, right? So if you know that, then if you're on my frequency, go ahead and you know what to do. But this is like a depression journal, a journey just to kind of give you kind of uh, to reflect, to know what's going on with your planets. Um, I'll probably end up doing this one more privately, of course, or when, you know, I can't tell y'all everything. But what I thought was really cool, they also threw in this. So, you know, we are trying to eat healthy. Whether you're trying to lose weight or if you're like me, I'm trying to gain my weight back. I don't eat healthy anymore due to the depression. You can um, put your date. My big goal, my reward, today's goal. What will I do to feel good today? Today's to-do list, positive habit creator. What am I grateful for today? Um, important things to do times today or whatever we have breakfast lunch and dinner so you can actually document what you ate they even have calories and all of that and then you know we're supposed to drink eight full uh fluid ounces of uh eight eight ounce glasses of water every day so i went ahead and got this it's like an equivalent to like pretty much like two of these these core bottles um this one is uh 30.4 fluid ounces times two 900 milliliters close enough you know we're gonna do the best that we can i'm probably gonna end up drinking one i don't drink much water um, but trying to get there so we can drink lots of water, right? And that kind of goes with what Spirit was saying. This is a general message to all the collective, no matter what your sign is. Um, I only intercess on earth, air, fire, water. I tried doing, you know, personal signs. Um, my, my guide said no, just the elements. When it gets down to genetics, it's the scientists in me. Everything is broke down into elements and pretty much positive and negative, light, dark. And here, yin yang gang, you know, it's corny, but we still doing our thing. This is gangstar tarot, you know. So we accept the balance. You know, when we step into the shadows, we embrace the pain. And then comes true light. What did I learn today? How did I improve? How can I do better? You know, and you can probably even put your scripting. What I like, this looks probably scripting and journaling. I'm going to bless these all with my sage and blow into them and set the intent that whatever I write will be done. Any affirmations. Um, so, therefore, you wouldn't have to, you know, if you're new into scripting and journaling, you don't have to do all of that. Blase, blase. But pretty much wrapping it up. Very excited. It's my first time ordering um, her Law of Attraction Planner. And I've heard that it does great if you're into manifestation, positive thoughts. 
positive speaking, that you can shift your environment. Some people are sitting around waiting on miracles. And, you know, God is waiting on you because you are the miracle. Okay? Come on, Holy Spirit. We went back to the Tibetan sound ball because the bells that they sent me. I'm going to go through the whole magic box haul. Y'all just stay tuned. But I'm loving this. And I'm loving that they put a map in here. Because you can also be inspired to travel. You know, the glow. I was looking at, I've always wanted to go to Australia. So, it's still a sight. I wanted to see if I could show y'all. Oh, it's in this one. Where they give you a, a whole little, in the back here. They've been giving you a whole little map. And then we have the other ones on the other side, of course. And then on this one, they have a little pocket. So, since it's the end of the year and this is the brand new planner, I was going to save this for 2021. And so I'm going to read to you what it says into the front and then we're going to jump right into the message, okay? So we're at five minutes. We're doing good. So keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behaviors. Keep your behaviors positive because your behaviors become your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. Andy. And that is so beautiful. Sometimes everybody looking for a word. And it's funny because this message, this what this applies to everybody looking and seeking for love, seeking attention, seeking confirmation when all of this should be coming from within, right? So if we have it and then it's just like receiving the cherry on top. So on Sunday, roll by the day of the sun, day of the sun, banishment of negative energies, the attracting of healing energies. The candle that you would want to burn would be yellow, orange, or white. And I have yellow and orange and you would want to use want to use lavender and sage oil um i'm out of oils i just ordered some more oil so i'm using lemon and a little bit of rosemary and then i'm smudging on the sweet grass and cedar and i promise you y'all gonna a little bit of palo santo that i have and we're gonna do that so is that everything that we needed to talk about spirit the spirits have me slow down but speed up, you know? So, the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron reed This is the three-card spread, okay? Um, the angel numbers that I have for y'all today is 2222. Because two, two, two. it's the 20th, 2020, and then we pulled up the cards right here. And then if somebody's been seeing a lot of 17s, angel number 17. Okay, because we have 17% illumination and 17. So actually that'd be 17, 17. Thank you, Spirit. Alrighty. So real quick in the crystal garden, I have a little green prehenite for the heart chakra. The rose quartz for the heart chakra. And I have some orange to train. Just to just stop me. It made me think of uh, the sun. Bright orange, you know. And then, of course, I have my titanium. The Pisces Capricorn stones out today. Those are the ones that I have out today. Really just focusing on that heart chakra. Healing from the inside out. And sometimes this is a lonely road. It's a lonely, lonely, lonely road. We look to our friends. We look to our family, our parents. And... And not getting what we need. So spirit says come to me. And I will give you healing from the inside out. Alrighty. Again general message. Just for anybody out there. If you happen to stumble upon this video. I do not believe in coincidence. I believe that you are a very powerful being. And that you are being called to this. Um, you are being called. This is the awakening, especially if you wake up around 3, 3.30 every night. I do believe that these are intercessors as well as me because I wake up and I think that we're being called to intercessory prayer. And I think I want to comment down below if you guys want to do like a live intercessory prayer. If you just wake up at 2, 3 o'clock in the dark and don't know what to do. There's so many of y'all out there. Maybe we should just come together and just, I don't know, pray for the world because we Lord knows we need it. All right. So see what the spirit has to say so you know i love me some jesus this is where my spiritual awakening started um seek and ye shall find matthew 7 7 oh there's some more sevens for y'all and then this is a overall message uh to the collective connect with music and the spirit would like you to script and say thank you angels for inspiring me 
through music, whether it's listening to music. If you're an artist, get back on your music. The Lord is telling me, um, no matter if you think you've lost it or you're not on it, get back on your shit. Thank you, angels, for allowing us to connect with the music. All righty. So right off the bat, just intuitively, going from the Oracle of the Seven Energies, Colette Baron Reed, uh, the first card I got was Angel number 22, Tender Embrace. Tender Embrace. Um, I was pretty much asking for like a past, present, future, Lord, like what's just going on in the world. And I'm just feeling like, I'm feeling starseed energy. So if you're a starseed out there, this is definitely for you. But I'm feeling like all we've ever wanted is tender embrace. Somebody's just wanted love, wanted to be accepted, wanted to be understood. Or someone's needing a tender embrace, okay? Then the second card I get was number 34, opening to discovery. Also, someone having thick skin, okay? Because when I think of element elephants, I think of thick skin. So it was like, you're just, you're just hard, you know? But, you know, and I go through this because, you know, this is Gangstar Tarot, being an 80s baby, being delivered. Thank you, Lord. But being in my youth, uh, so gang-affiliated. And now being so soft and wanting to take walks in the park and talking to my plants. You know, phytokinesis is so not gangster, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still a G. Never, you know, you can never be misunderstood. So seeing things through a whole new eyes, like you're unlocking this beautiful world. Been out in this, in the trenches, on the block, whatever you call hard, struggling, just different. Seeing the beauty in life, seeing the beauty in the grass, seeing the beauty in the in the keys. And it's funny that we've seen keys. Um, Hakate. If you see a lot of keys, <laughs> you could be summoned by Hakate. I know I was. I'm going to tell you the story about it. That's why I said I'm back from the shadows. You cannot think that you just have found favored with guardians of the light, angels, ancestors. You have to know that we are also favored by those of the dark. Um, and dark isn't all bad. Because then I go on to angel number 17, the storyteller, and there's another key. So definitely unlocking something. I'm seeing this new path that we are unlocking is giving you a story. It's pretty much this journey of needing tender embrace, of not getting enough love. And now getting healing from the inside out through source, through music, through Jesus, through whatever it is that you choose to believe in. Writing, it seems like. Scripting, singing is unlocking a whole new world. And you have this story to tell that is going to overall change the world. Okay. So I ain't read the book. So we'll get real briefly into the book and then we'll be out. But that's what I was getting intuitively. Definitely starseed energies. Definitely someone with thick skin. Angel number 2222, 22, someone's building here. Someone's creating something. Could be a writer because we have the pen and paper. You could be scripting. If you're scripting, your manifestations will come into fruitation. Check number angel 1717 17, if you've been scripting. Or maybe you're coming into a reality that you are a star seed. We'll go further. We'll see. So the seven energies in this book would be earth, water, fire, love, sound, light, and thought. Okay. So this would be fire energy. So you might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is also fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I believe number 34 is sound. So definitely dealing with music. Ain't no coincidences. Listen. Listen. Okay. Twenty-two. I'm sorry, it's not fire, it's love. Tender embrace love. Still getting fire energy from this card. It could still apply. Thank you, Spirit. So key concepts is compassion, warm-hearted, care for oneself and others, 
sensitivity, empathy, benevolence, and kindness. Put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply, inhaling a sense of gratitude and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand and witness the suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce the pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking at a stranger in the eye and smiling and making will make the world of difference. You would not be surprised how much a comp compliment can change someone's day. The questions to ask are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve? In what capacity can I be in alignment? with the solution into the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service to others, it's easy to, to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Amen. Come on, spirit. Allow yourself grace to be human and then to do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles rise. And you know that's so freaking true because I try to micromanage the universe because I'm a control freak. And you will make yourself sick. So I've been in the shadows, right? The spirit was telling me, you know, you need to rest. But I have all these wonderful thoughts upload. You know, Halloween's coming and I'm into all that witchy shit. You know, I love the spooky times. And people think I'm a witch anyway. Evil. So I can really scare them, you know, scare the kids. <laughs> so getting prepared for all that, finding it hard to sleep. And you have to love on yourself. And that's exactly what I did today. That's funny. I said, what can I do nice for myself today? Um, because I ate breakfast. <laughs> So I ordered uh, some more oils here, the yin yang oil that we haven't had. I finally found it. Frankincense and myrrh. I was so happy because normally I can find frankincense or myrrh, but normally they're not in the same pack. Found lots of oils um, and smudges and got me a Starbucks. I used to drink them every day. Can't do that anymore. So a release and love on yourself. Be compassionate to yourself. I'm really feeling like in the past we've put a lot of love into others. Come on. Talking to my star player. So we talk to ourselves here. We've given a lot of ourselves to others and we've always had this desire to help. But it's got to be God, then us, then everyone else. Because if we are not healthy from the inside out, you know, I like to put on my makeup. I like to do my hair and my nails. You know, I apologize. I don't have a feel. We've been busy. You know, it was my fiance's birthday and everything. And we was partying and just having fun. And you don't have to be perfect. It's okay. It can be, be human. Don't, you know, you don't have to put on persona for others. So that's good. Um, thank you, Spirit, for that. Now, opening to discovery, angel number 34. Really liking the artwork on these cards. Simple but deep at the same time. Alrighty. So the key concepts in this one would be the small bits of data you collect from the world and from ideas to transfer to vital information via the universe, always speaking, always speaking to you. The need to integrate information and to be discerning about what you expose yourself to. Yes. So that's why I was saying crystal armor. You may not believe it, but I take my Palo Santo. There's Palo Santo spray. I take my crystals. I take my sage. All my kinfo. How they it really does make a difference. You have to protect your energy. We do. There are demonic energies. There are negative energies that attach themselves to us. And we don't even know. We don't even know. And then we get stuck with it. If you don't have the wisdom to transfer transfer transform it excuse me back into light and love you get stuck with it and then we get stuck with addictions we already talked about it we get stuck with depression you know and we're constantly working this out it's a constant thing it's a constant cleanse you know it's not like oh i'm gonna go get my chakras cleansed and i'm good we have to cleanse our chakras weekly maybe daily for some of us you know We tune in to information from our outer environment, then assign meaning to within our psyche every day. However, the amount of data we sort through exceeds what we're capable of processing, especially since the event of the intent we have been 
bombarded with we could ever hope to absorb. Therefore, it's important to be mindful of what we expose ourselves to, definitely. Consistent exposure to unhealthy messaging invites us into a cynical, fear-based world or view. On the other hand, conscious exposure to information supporting our well-being shifts and toward growth and expansion of choice. Thank you, Spirit. Let me stop there before I forget. And actually, we're not going to go through the rest because this is the spirit. Let me dismiss. I have that. Okay, so like with the whole George Floyd situation, okay, my fiance's name and all of my children's last name are Floyd. And people in the spiritual community were afraid to talk about it. Oh, just light and love, you know, but it's not all. Um, it's not we, we have to talk about it. You know, you don't want to share the hate. You don't want to continue to share the hate and share the rage. If you can find any good part of the situation, is there any way that we can work this out? Is there any way that this is benefiting the world? We're trying to pull on that. And if we can't see anything light or love, we pray and ask God to bring it. Come on. There's nothing that more that we can do. I mean, being hateful and wanting to do more hate is not going to do anything but produce more hate and more violence and more death. So that's what's hard. Because as for me, I tell my husband, I'm so glad that he's an earth sign because he'll be like, hey, baby, this is going on. But me personally, I have to keep myself in a bubble. I'm highly sensitive, highly sensitive. And I intercess on behalf of things seen and unseen. So therefore, I can't sit and watch criminal show. I can't watch everything that's going on in the world because the spirit has me focused on what's going on in the spirit. Now, I do need to be down to earth sometimes. Sometimes I stay up in the clouds too much, I admit. So I come back down to earth, Karina. But that's my calling. Now, there are certain people who can't go as high or as deep or as dark as I go because this is the shadows. But that's their purpose. They're earth. They're physical. They're practical. And there's a balance. So everybody needs to be you. And we have to grow to understand. Because I know that there's a part of me that benefits my husband very much because I'm a praying woman. You know, and we've been delivered and we've changed our lives. But when we weren't living so good, them prayers saved us from a whole lot of prison time. Come on. Thank you, Lord. So pressing forward, that ain't none of y'all been. Anyway, I feel like overall, and we're already about to be at 20 minutes. We're not going to keep this too long. Overall, storytelling. We're going to read the key words, angel number 17. And again, this is love. So key word being love. Love yourself. Love your children. Love your plants. Love your animals. Love your music. Love yourself. You know, here on this channel, we do have love readings, but this is a more self channel because we are our own star players, our own MVP. The number one draft pick on our all-star team sometimes is you, you know, and everybody looking for a word and looking for information. Here you just get confirmation of what is already going on with you. If, if it's not, if this doesn't apply to you, then there's something better out there for you, right? So... The main concepts are identity, positive, self-definition, teaching others how to treat you Ooh, through the stories you tell about who you are. And that's funny. We do have to treat, we do have to teach other people how to treat us. But see, the hard part is staying there. Like, this is the bar. And you meet somebody and you have to keep your morals here and your integrity here. Now, if they're here, they're going to come up to your level. And if they're up here then you're going to come up right to his level. That's what you really should be on a man who can who can bring you up to his level or at least y'all equally low. But if he's down here, that don't mean, you know, you have to teach your man. Um, I don't know who you're talking to because I'm not her. Now, let me tell you, especially the ladies, when you start trying to tell your man, you know, I thought I always lost mine. Come on, over, we go. But you have to be, you have to speak up for yourself. Now, we're not the popular ones. Sometimes, Men like the ones they can boss around and tell them what to do. And they'd be like, okay, daddy. Okay, dad. I'm not one of them all the time. You know, a man has to make me. That's why I have my, my man. He is the only man. I've been with this man almost a decade. That made me want to try to change myself in any type of way. Because I don't care. I ain't never needed no man for it was some day day. I'm in my own money. Everything else, you know. That, but now he showed me what a man else is useful for. I love him. I need him with no money, no nothing else. His soul, his heart, his thoughts. He'd be right. You know, and it made me, I'm a strong woman. If it makes me want to submit, you have to be a girl, man, because I'm not going to follow no dummy to hell. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. And then there were some things he had to come up to because 
I'm a boss. I'm a okay. That's why I didn't work out. I can't, you know, wear black every Sunday and stand in front of everybody and you know, it did it didn't work out at, you know, in the traditional church. But we're fellowshipping. So overall message to the collective. Love on yourself. You are unlocking some the spirit is the universe is giving you messages, like message after message. If you have music, write these things down. If you're dreaming, write these things down. And we're going to end with our serenity silence. So I really believe I am a very powerful, I have found. People like to give titles. I just say I'm so Pisces and I'm intercessing. That's all I know is that I can get a prayer through, through these cards without nothing right here. I can pray to the Lord and he's going to come. And it's been proven time and time again. And now that he showed me my gift with Sarah and Oracle, it's just a way to kind of train my gift. And I'm so thankful that I was delivered. Shout out to anybody who's been through N-A-A-A-C-A-S-A, -A -A -A, any kind of treatment program. Shout out to all my Oxford bitches. Um, if you've been through the Oxford Foundation. But I do believe that they have created a curse. Because I believe that there is power of life and death in the tongue. And that if you speak, if you accept in your mind. Now, we're studying the law of attraction. Positive thoughts equals positive words. and positive, right? But if I accept in my mind, I'm an addict. That's all I'm ever going to be is a damn addict. And don't think. Then that's all you'll ever be. If you think you ain't shit, then you ain't going to be shit. Even the Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. So you have to, no, I'm not an addict. I got to, this is not me. This is not who I am. That's the only thing that got me through. I can say, this ain't me, Lord. This ain't me. I know this ain't me. This ain't me. Where this shit come from? But I would like to give a moment, I call it serenity signs, because there's so many of us that died, still trying, they didn't make it out. You know, relapse and that one, that one, you know, you never know if you're delivered until you relapse. But yet, that one relapse could be your last relapse. So, please, please be careful out there if you have any addictions um, or if you've known anyone or lost anyone. It's a little serenity book that I picked up. And we'll have a quick moment for anyone who's died due to an overdose of any kind of uh, drug. So I do not believe you have to say, hello, my name is Woo Woo and I'm an addict. Hello, my name is Woo Woo and I'm an addict. No, I disagree with that. I believe you're cursing yourself up. You're speaking that into the atmosphere and you're accepted in your mind and you're an addict. And that's what you're always going to be. That's why your sponsor relapsed and then you end up being a sponsor and you relapse. And now they're back sponsoring you. It's just a whole circle. People coming in and back out. People coming in and back out. And the same people. It's a whole circle and then it becomes a comfort zone. Because that's who you are. I'm an addict. This is where I belong. No, it isn't. That is a trick. And I believe they created that. It's great to accept a higher power. It's great to admit that you cannot stop this. You need deliverance. Yes, you need the Lord. You need to pray. And you need to speak positive over yourself. Are you a singer? Are you a dancer? Are you a fisherman? Are you a football player? Are, are you? What are you? What, what is it that you want to be? What are your gifts? Because that's not something you want to quit speaking. You want to be the best addict in the world? Well, go on ahead and die. You don't want to be the best addict in the world. Unless you do. If you like drugs, hey, I want to pop Molly till I die. Say this shit. But me personally, no. I know that I'm a, I'm a woman of God. And I just want to be the best woman of God that I can be. You know, and I refuse. And they kick me out because I quit saying I was an addict. But I'm not an addict no more. So, you see, for yourself, the law of attraction works. Manifesting's work. So, the strength. Of courage. It says, dare to be Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Come on, Holy Ghost. Dare to have a purpose firm and dare to make it known. Philip P. Bliss, him. Angel number 33 on top of the day. I circled it down at the bottom. And it's so cute. It has this little bookmark. So, yeah, I'm going to take a quick break. Please check out. I'm intercessing. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to be doing it this week. Earth, air, fire, water. I have phytokinesis coming up on my plants. My Taurus North Node gardening. Love it. Very satisfying to my soul. As well as some unboxings and um, some content on Hakate being summoned by Hakate. This was Gangstar Tarot. Gotta go. I already know that a nigga out you getting to the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'm a chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money maker.